Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm a senior at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and we have a college football game today. So I figured I'd bring you along and show you my routine. So get ready with me for go for game day. The first thing that I like to go in and do is do my eyebrows to get them out of the way. I use the Maybelline Express Brow first to give them a little bit more shape and definition. So now that we have them filled in, I'm going to take a Maybelline brow gel and go through to set them in place. Okay, so now that we're here, we can move on to eyes. I always do my eyes before I do my base, just because then if there's any fallout, it is really easy to clean up underneath. I am just going in with an e.l.f. eyelid primer. This will really help the eyeshadows to grow onto something and make them last all day. Go into eyeshadow. I personally have started using Saint Makeup and I really love it because it, they come in these compacts and the makeup is in these tins that just magnetize in there. So as you can see, it's super easy to pull them apart and then put it right back in there, which really ensures that there is customization to your routine and that you can take and make whatever makeup palette you desire. And then it's all just in these really compact little palettes and make it really easy for traveling. So I have everything that I need here for both my face makeup and my eyes. So I'm going to go in right away with some eyeshadow and start creating a look that supports the golden maroon golden gophers. So I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush and gonna go in with a relatively light transition color. And I'm just gonna put this over the entire eyelid. Now that we're done with that, I just like to continuously go a little bit deeper. So now I'm going in with this next shade, just darkening up a little bit. But as you go darker, you want to really refine it into the crease. the lashes are just not lashing on game day but <laughs> we shall prevail so now that eyes are done for right now this is when I like to move on to face makeup and you'll get to see the wonders of this amazing one layer one compact cream makeup so I have a few different brushes here that I'm just going to start using so the first thing that I like to do is take my main highlight shade which is essentially foundation I'm just gonna start washing this all along my face the beautiful thing about this makeup is that it is one layer and it's cream so it blends together like butter As you can see, I really just like to fluff this product where I want it to go, pressing it into the skin to really put it into place. You don't need a heavy hand, the products really do the work for you. This cream makeup will warm up to your face so you can really just blend it together and start to create that base that you want. So I'm just putting this right along the bottoms of my cheek, my chin, and then up into my nose as well. And then just go right up on the top of the cheekbone as well. And then just the center of the forehead. Now that we're here, I'm going to go in with concealer, so we call it brightening highlight. And so you can see that I've left spots on my face that I haven't put any product yet. With this makeup line, you don't need to put a whole layer of foundation because all of our products have coverage in them. So I'm just going to go in with the littlest bit of my concealer on the other side of the brush and start to place this where one would normally place concealer. So under my eyes, I'll go in my T-zone and then 
I personally like to do it right under my nose because I do tend to have a little bit of redness there that I just want the littlest extra bit of pigment. Just right here. I like to do the littlest bit on my chin. And then I'm just going to switch brushes really quick because we do have this one brush that is really great for applying contour. So just following my cheekbone right there. And then I just like to place all my contour first because this especially will warm up so much to the skin and so then it just makes it a dream to blend out. left over down on my jawline. Alrighty, I mean seriously, it is so quick, so easy. And then we do have a bronzer as well, so I'm gonna again switch brushes and go into this really big fluffy one and go into our bronzer. I just love the way that this gives the most beautiful sun-kissed look to the skin. So just put this on the highest point. Another really great thing about these products is that they are incredibly buildable, so placing this bronzer on top of these products won't make it cakey. They'll just really mesh together. And again, with that bronzer, it just melts so nicely. 